Hey everyone, <laughs> it's Kim Reinecke. Um, I just wanted to give you an update in um, now that we're in the month of September. And I'm going to try to consciously <laughs> not say um through this entire video. I have noticed that some of my symptoms have snuck back in. Not my tremors. It's not the full on flare up of my Parkinson's and essential tremors. It's the little things. Um, I did say an um there. Sorry. I have stiffness and rigidity now as a constant thing from my knees on all the way down to my feet. Now it is summertime. I have been, I've become a lot more active since my uh, facet burn, my last facet, excuse me, block, my facet block, my last facet block and starting physical therapy. Uh, the, the big and small, uh, big and loud program through my physical therapist that is certified in that. That has helped tremendously. That is a Parkinson's program, Parkinson's directed program. And I apologize if I'm getting up and down. I am letting my dogs out. So again, I have been very active which has been fantastic. Um, I do get sore, but it's my muscles. It's not the Parkinson's issues that I typically have. It's the muscle aches and pains from not using them for so long because they had atrophied since I had basically been out of commission using a walker when I did get up and walk, things like that. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing and losing my words. Um, I'm losing that. That's why I keep saying the, um, because I, I do lose my words quite a bit. And when I first got my second facet block, it wasn't as bad. Losing my words again started when I started getting the stiffness and rigidity in, below my knees and really badly in my feet. My physical therapist said that wearing flip-flops, because it, it is summertime and I live on the beach, wearing flip-flops is not the best thing in the world, even if they are good quality, because that's all I wear. I wear Cobians. They have really great support. They even have arch support in them. And the, oh, what are they called? There's another brand that's very supportive. It's like walking on a yoga mat. They're wonderful. They start with an S. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. See, I'm losing my words. So every morning I get up now, I have that stiffness. My feet just ache so badly. They kill me try, trying to get out of bed. But the best thing to do is to continue to walk and exercise, stretch those muscles. If I'm in the car for too long, I notice the same thing happens. So the best thing for your body is to keep moving. I know it, people say that all the time. And even when you are in your full-blown Parkinson's flare-up, 
with me, I don't want to move. I can't move. My body just does not allow it. It's really hard to try to make yourself get up and get moving. It's very, very hard. Now, I do have two dogs that I'm at home with all day long. They're my, they're my children. I was not able to have children, so they are my children. And they're 15 years old. So they are starting to have issues as well. My, my female dog, Sadie, she actually ha has started to have incontinent issues. So it's a constant um, where she, she goes to the door continuously and then she doesn't go. So that right there, that makes you get up and down, up and down, up and down. But you need to do that. You need to keep moving. Your muscles, when they get atrophied, and they get tightened up, they get more and more rigid. I want I wanted to stay in bed all day today because I was just so exhausted because I've done so much this week, more than I have in God knows how long. It's been probably close to two years. I went and showed property, which was really thrilling for me. That was the first time in since September of 2019. That was the last transaction I had. I did have a client that I had to uh, refer to the owner of my firm to because I was not able to show them properties at the time. So I got a referral fee. So I did get pay for, paid for that. And the owner of the firm that I work for now is just wonderful. She has done so much to help me make money without having to do anything physical. She's willing to help me with that. So that makes things even better. I don't think about when I go to bed now, I don't think about how I'm going to feel when I'm going to wake up. I don't wake up thinking, oh my God, am I going to be able to walk today? Am I going to be able to do anything today? Am I going to be in pain? Now the pain is good pain. It's muscular pain because I'm working those muscles again. So, Yes, I still have the symptoms. I'm always going to have the symptoms at some point in time. I did go for quite a while, uh, a month, without having any symptoms at all whatsoever, which was fan-freaking-tastic. But now, like I said, the it's little things are starting to sneak in. But... As long as I keep moving, I'm good. You've got to remember that. And also, I actually went, walked on the beach. I went and went on the boat with some friends of mine. I haven't done that in over two years. That was absolutely amazing. A year ago, I didn't think I would ever be able to get back on the beach or even go out on the boat. So this has been just a wonderful feeling. I know that eventually that my symptoms are going to slowly start popping up, which they have, but I am doing everything in my power to keep it at bay as long as possible. That's why I do the big and loud program with my physical therapist. That is why 
I'm going to start the rock, rock study boxing once I get done with the big and loud program. That is why I'm, I keep moving every day. I've changed my diet. I don't eat protein, meat protein. I eat eggs. I eat soy. I eat f seafood. Those are the proteins that I'm using for my body. I eat a huge salad every day. I eat a ton of vegetables, fruit. Oh my gosh, fruit like crazy. That is my saving grace, I believe. That in my exercise. I know when I read about Parkinson's and was doing all of my research and it was saying, yes, you need to change your diet, change your exercising, things like that. I never thought I would be able to exercise. I was in so much pain for so long. A lot of it had to do with my back, the back, the pain in my back with the arthritis, the bulging discs, those are getting treated now. That's what my facet blocks were for. And I'm getting my facet burn done October 1st. So the back pain is my biggest trigger for my Parkinson's and essential tremor symptoms. So that's another thing the facet block and the facet burns that gives me temporary relief enough to be able to exercise. So that's what I have to continue doing. I have to keep my body in as good a shape as I possibly can physically and internally. One of the things that my regular therapist and my physical therapist keep telling me is because I'm always waiting for the other shoe to drop, or I used to, I've always been a glass half full person. Once the symptoms set in, I was glass half empty and scared every day thinking is this going to last forever? Or if I do get a break, how long is that going to last? Well, I don't think that way anymore. You can't. Parkinson's affects your brains. Essential tremors affects your brain. So everything that your body does and reacts to is from what is what comes from your brain. So if you keep thinking about the other shoe dropping, then your body's going to react to that. So that's what I have been told. And it's true. It is very true. The more you lay around because you feel horrible, absolutely horrible, the worse your body's going to feel. The depression is going to take you into the darkest place you've ever been in. I notice also, my anger pops up a little bit more now. So that's another thing that um, whenever I notice these symptoms coming back up, that's when I talk to my doctors. I talk to my primary care. I talk to my neurologist. And so we'll probably have to either change my antidepressant or up the dosage since, as I said, my temper is getting a little bit worse. It's not to the point where, yeah, I need to change it now. I think it's just starting to slowly get bad again. So I'm going to try to hold off as long as I can from adding medications. So when I get mad, I've got to find something else to do. 
as an exercise, something to exert that anger, that distress that I feel in my brain. So again, your diet and how you take care of yourself physically. Huge thing. Absolutely huge thing. That is that is what has kept Michael J. Fox going. He stays active all the time. Now, granted, yes, he has access to the best doctors in the world through his foundation. And he has, I believe he has had DB, DBS surgery, but he has had Parkinson's for so long and he has been able to keep a lot of the major symptoms at bay through medication, through his diet and through exercising. And he'll tell you that every single interview that you see him talking about it, he'll tell you that. So remember that. Remember when you wake up, you're sore, you're, ha you're starting off to have a bad day because you're not feeling good. Then get up, get going, move around, walk around your block, walk around your house, anything just to get you going and make that pain back off. That is what's helped me. And I hope that you see with my videos and what I went, came from where I was in full blown flare up before I even got diagnosed with the Parkinson's and trying to see, I saw six movement disorder specialists before I found one that was willing to and listen to me instead of saying, oh, it's psychosomatic. You need to go see a neuropsychiatrist and it's all in your head. There's, there had to be some stress or trauma. No, no, don't listen to that. When you know that there's something wrong with your body, you keep going and I say this in every video, you keep going until you find the person that is going to listen to you and that is going to treat you instead of pushing you aside and just saying, oh, it's psychosomatic. There's, I know there's been so many of you that have gone through that and are even currently going through that with a neurologist and movement disorder specialist that you've been seeing for years. And now all of a sudden they're saying, oh, well, I don't know if we can help you with that. You, you have a new symptom that pops up. That's when you need to go get a second opinion. Go find as many as you can until you get answers. Make them run the tests make them give you the answers. So again, <laughs> I'm doing very well and I take it day by day. That's the only way we can all do it. We all have different symptoms. We all, all have different reactions to medications. Those are the big things you need to remember. So I will be doing another update video in October, maybe sooner if I have a flare up before then. My, like I said, my facet burn is October the 1st. So as long as everything goes fine and I don't have to change the date of that, then we're going to be good to go. Hopefully no more flare ups. I'm doing my exercises that my physical therapist tells me to do. I get out, I socialize, I do whatever I can 
to keep my body moving. So you do the same. I know it's hard. It's very, very, very hard. I go through it just like you do. And you've seen my other videos. I hope you have. From going from using a walker at all times and being stuck in the house, even before COVID, not being able to drive, not being able to do pretty much anything. There's going to be good days like what I'm having now, like what I've had for the past month. I've been so lucky and I'm so thankful for that. I hope it lasts. If it doesn't, that's okay. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep pushing on and I want all of you to do the same. I'm 51 years old. Some of you may be younger. Some of you may be older, but all of us, the same things apply. We need to change our diet and we need to start exercising and moving our bodies. Get Find a physical therapist that is certified in big and loud for Parkinson's. Go find the Rocksteady boxing class that's closest to you. Get going, get moving and stay moving as much as you can. And whatever you need, if you have comments, if you need advice, if you have questions, anything at all, y'all can write a comment. You can get in touch with me on Facebook I am on Facebook. Send me a message on Facebook. My name's Kim Reinecke. That's not a common name. <laughs> I live in North Carolina and I'm a real estate agent. So if you can make a comment on here and you would like to do so, you can do that or you can find me on Facebook. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions or give you the experience, let you know what, what I've experienced so that we, we, we support each other and we don't go into that dark hole. So thank you. I've got 50 subscribers so far. I'm very shocked. I never thought it would happen because that's n what I wanted to do when I started this, this is a diary for not for me and for anyone else that suffers or has a loved one that suffers from Parkinson's or essential tremors. I want you all to see and to find out as much information as you can I'm big on the Fox Foundation. I support them. I get a lot of information from them. I've also started following the Davis Finney Foundation. And they actually will send you, you can sign up for a virtual book. And it's a good book. It gives a, a ton of information of, about Parkinson's and other movement disorders. So you can order the virtual book or you can order the hard copy. I actually have a hard copy because it's hard for me to, to read virtually sometimes. Um, just know that you're not the only one out there. You're not the only one that gets frustrated with your doctors. You're not the only one that goes through the pain. We all go through the pain. Sometimes it's different for other people, but we all need to support each other. We have to be warriors. We don't need to go to the dark place. When you're in the dark place, 
you feel like you can't get out. So reach out, find a support group on, on Facebook, online, in your community, whatever it may be. Message me, whatever you want. Just find a support group. And I hope that you have family that supports you as well. If you don't, that is very, very hard. And I've been through that. My family had a hard time understanding. It's, it's normal for that to happen. Unless you are, are suffering from Parkinson's or you have watched a loved one suffer from the symptoms of Parkinson's, then you'll never understand it completely. So this was my update. I hope it helps. And I'm going to keep you updated. Like I said, if I have another flare up, I will before my facet burn or no matter when it is, I will have another video when I have another uh, major flare up. And I also will keep you updated after uh, what happens with my facet burn. So again, just live by day by day, keep your body moving and keep your diet in line. And that will help tremendously. So thank you again, everyone, for subscribing, for your comments, for your likes. I hope I help. I hope everything that I've showed you since I have started with the, the symptoms of these diseases, I hope it helps. This is why I'm doing this. I want to spread the awareness and let you know, let everyone know that there's other people out there that are suffering like you. So hopefully I won't see you until after my facet burn on October 1st. But if I have a flare up, you'll be seeing me before then. So I hope everybody takes care. I hope you, I hope and pray that everyone starts having good days. And when you do, take advantage of it. If you're having a bad day, then try to move. Talk to someone. Talk to me. Talk to another person that you know that has Parkinson's. That helps tremendously and find a good therapist <laughs> mine is awesome so and a good physical therapist so y'all take care and as i said i will be seeing you soon hopefully it won't be until after october 1st and when i give you my update but if i have a flare up it'll be before then so y'all take care and thank you so much again for watching and subscribing and I hope I help. So I will see y'all soon. Thanks. Bye. Trying to stop my video and I can't. Two times a year.